What's going on guys, I am the Law of Shiddai, and welcome to another ship video. Earlier in the week, I put out a poll on my channel, and the options were Count Dooku Solar Sailor or the Republic Gunship, or the LAAT Gunship. And, as you can see by the poll, the Gunship won, so we are going to talk about the Gunship today. If you like these ship videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more ship videos in the future as well as you can go in the comment section down below and put whatever you want the next ship video to be about. All right, without further ado, let's just get right to the gunship. Thana, heavy engineering, low altitude assault transport slash infantry, repulsor lift gunship. The army that invaded Geonosis on the eve of the Clone Wars proved amazingly effective. Its success was due, in large part, to its diverse array of military vehicles. While ATTE walkers conveyed troops into the thick of the battle, a fleet of heavily armed assault gunships carried soldiers to key locations for tactical strikes. Like many of the Republic's clone army vehicles, the LAT-I gunship is designed to perform primary and secondary functions. The gunship's first duty is the transport of troopers. The vehicle holds 30 soldiers in the passenger compartment and four military speeder bikes in the rear hangar. The vehicle's armored hull is meant to absorb a great deal of punishment, but in the event of but in the event but in the event the gunship is disabled, the vehicle's cockpit ejects as a separate escape pod. The LATI secondary functions include reconnaissance, fire support, search and recovery missions, and low-altitude combat against ground units, airspeeders, and even starfighters. Two massive drive missile launchers can fire a variety of ordnance. Short-range homing missiles are most often used to destroy armored vehicles and installations. Four air-to-air -air rockets tucked under each wing target starships and airspeeders. Three anti-personnel turret blasts any enemy soldiers, and other small, fast-moving targets that approach the gunship. Finally, the craft's four ball turrets fire synchronized tributary beams with frightening precision. The ball turrets are positioned to provide a tremendous field of fire, allowing them to shoot at targets above and below the gunship. With their tremendous array of firepower, gunships are often called upon to clear a deployment zone before troops are released. Republic gunships were used on countless worlds during the Clone Wars because of their great maneuverability and atmospheric speed. Gunships can weave between large rock formations, dive into canyons and valleys, hover over a forest, and cruise between structures in sprawling urban areas, all while flying at more than 600 kilometers per hour. Only the most mobile enemy craft can keep a gunship in its sights. Even skilled pilots find it nearly impossible to avoid the craft's multiple weapons. The LATI gunship was one of several vehicles in the LAT series. The basic gunship design is extremely versatile, and the vehicle has been modified to transport a wide variety of cargo. The LATV is slightly larger than the standard troop transport and lacks a passenger compartment. Instead, the rear hangar has been expanded to allow the vehicle to carry up to 16 speeder bikes, or eight military land speeders. At the Battle of Geonosis, the clone army deployed LAATC gunships to deposit ATTE walkers at key sites across the battlefield. And it has a it is 17.4 meters long with a 17 meter wingspan and its maximum speed is 620 kilometers per hour. And it is manufactured by Rathana Heavy Engineering, which is a subsidiary of Kuat drive yards. And then if you look at the diagram, figure one is the laser cannon, two is the gunnery station, three is the wing turret, four is the missile launcher, five is the compartment door, and six is the cockpit with clone pilot. Many of the Kaminoan clones were specifically trained for specific military roles. Gunship pilots, identified by yellow markings on their helmets, underwent several years of training to master a range of military craft. Well, that is the Republic gunship. 
Yeah, very interesting. It has several different versions that serve different things. Some, you know, carry more vehicles rather than troops and stuff like that. So pretty interesting. All right. Let me know if you uh, learned anything in the comment section down below. And again, what's the next ship you would like to see in, in the next video? And uh, yeah, you can see other ship videos on the screen right now. So you can click one of those videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.